Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? Welcome to Recipe Roulette. I'm Fen, this is my lovely wife Laura, and tonight we're making... We are making cheesy potatoes and our cheese, because it is from the plant-based air fryer, is vegan cheese. Ooh. How do we milk a vegan? <laughs> Alright, ingr I'm joking. Ingredients. Okay, so this recipe says to use fingerling potatoes. We had nice um, main potatoes still in stock, so I diced two of those. And they're currently in water because that keeps them from oxidizing until you're ready to cook them. And we're going to toss those together with about a tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon each of pepper and salt, and sorry, a full teaspoon each of pepper and salt, and a half of garlic powder. And then for our vegan cheese sauce, using two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a half a teaspoon each of paprika and turmeric, and the juice from half a lemon. And you might end up adding a little bit of water to dilute this, modify this recipe a little bit. What about the cashews? Oh yeah, you need those too. So this is a half a cup of cashews. Okay. All right, so I've taken my potatoes out of the water. Now that I'm ready to get them ready, I'm just going to drizzle my olive oil over the top of these. Then give them a good shake. Might have been a bit too much vigorous of a shake. Now I'm going to sprinkle in my seasonings off my spice plate. And I'm going to give that some more good shaking. Just really get those spices moved around. All right, these are ready to pop into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 16 minutes. So while the potatoes are in the air fryer, we're going to get this vegan cheese prepped up. So I'm going to put in my cashews, the paprika and turmeric, Nutritional yeast and the lemon juice all into my food processor. And I'm going to blend it on low until it's combined. And if I need any water to dilute it um, to whatever consistency I'm looking for, then I'll do that and slowly. Um, blend again and then I'm going to set it aside so I guess that's everything until oh and this is um, we're going to add this onto the potato wedges 
in a bit. So. So this recipe calls for using a uh, air fryer baking pan, which we don't have one of those. So what I'm doing is I'm going to transfer my potatoes over to another plate so I can take a sheet of parchment paper. Set that down in there so our cheese sauce doesn't drip all the way through our air fryer. Get our potatoes. Right over here. You want to use parchment paper and not wax paper because wax paper, it can start to burn. You'll end up having a half smell like uh, somebody's burning candles. So you definitely don't want to do that with wax. So we'll get our vegan cheese sauce. Clean our food processor blades. And just scoop this out of the food processor with your handy dandy spatula. Remember all of our spatulas are provided by Spatula City. The best, play, the best way to say I love you is with a spatula. And it's fun for the whole family. So definitely, if you're in the area, head on down to uh, Spatula City. And uh, Weird Al, do not sue me for uh, using your joke because you're amazing and I'm just playing you a compliment. Alright. Seriously, if you have not watched UHF, it is the best movie from early 90s it's, it goes for comedy movies that was not written by Mel Brooks got our cheese sauce in there ready to pop that back in how long am I putting this back in for just two minutes two minutes still on 400 so temperatures at 400 time is on two minutes and we'll be back for the first bite. All right, time for the first bite. That's really good. It is really good. It's not exactly cheesy, but it's got a great flavor. I think we probably could have blended it a bit longer and put in some more water. Possibly. But, ah, if you... Yeah. You didn't tell me that was not supposed to be like. It's weird because it tastes just like like processed cheese. That's funny. So yeah, no dairy. All right. So next recipe, I need the dice because we're going off of your Pinterest. Mm-hmm. Pull that out. Okay, so for cat, I've got eight categories. Eight categories. We're going with category number two. Is breads. Okay, I've got three. D6. We're going with number one. Leftover mashed potato bread. Leftover mashed potato. Ooh, that means we're going to have mashed potatoes this week, because we have to have leftover mashed potatoes in order to do it. Pretty much. All right. So we'll see you for some leftover mashed potato bread next week on... Recipe Roulette. Peace. Bye, everybody. Uh, and this episode was filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> that was very cool to see. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Thank you. Well done, well done.